What's up, bros? I'm Drake. I'm Dustin. And we received this clip from a parallel dimension, and it's from the future. What? Yeah, bro. It's dated 2018, and anyone who's read the story knows that. Of course, it's 2017 here. Uh, why'd you rope me into this? Well, we need content for the channel, and since barely anyone watched our Sonic Unleashed playthrough, I'm trying something different. Hey, I heard that allegedly. These vids will be posted seven years from now. Whatever, quit huffing paint, Drake. Hey, lighten up, bro. You're always speaking in that monotone voice bound to bore our audience. Don't care. Next time, get Cody to do this. Jeez, Dustin. If only you'd scream like you do in your concerts. But yeah, bros, this vid's showing UCSD playing UC Irvine. They're whites and we're blues, of course. Can you explain, please? Yeah, well, you know this, bro, but for those not familiar with water polo, white caps represent the visitors and blue caps are for the home team. Goalies always wear red. Thanks. And in pro play, every team has exactly 13 players, 11 fielders and two goalies. Of course not everyone's in the pool at once. Got six fielders at a time, bro. Our team's a little different, though, since we're college. Hold that thought, Dustin. Irvine got us up one. Sucks. At least the audience is being a good sport about it and golf clapping politely, bros. Like, imagine if it were football and we were NFL players, it'd be a whole different crowd. Whatever. Hey, can I ask you something, bro? What? Are you gonna just say stuff like whatever or I don't care for everything I say? Really kills the vibe, bro. Maybe say something of substance, then. Your college's namesake said it best. Small minds discuss people. Why not go with something bigger like discussing an idea? Bro, do you not watch the content on this channel? We're telling a story that's all about people. Think of it. They're into the relationships, like mine with Gage, or Jason's with whoever he's dating this hour. But stories- Whoa, did you see that, bro? Such a close shot, but not a goal. Hmm. Lost my train of thought. Now I remember. I was about to ask you if you could tell me the main theme of a story like Harry Potter. Whoa, single mind much, bro. Was trying to watch the game. After all, that's what this video's about, right? I'd appreciate it if you can answer the question. Well, everyone's familiar with the story. It's about a boy who goes to a magic school and fights an evil dark wizard who wants to take over the world, bro. You're missing the point. It's a story about the importance of love mixed with sacrifice and facing death. All good stories have a main theme or message to get across to their audience. Yeah, I do remember seeing a lot of stuff about love in there, bro. Exactly. Hey, are these Irvine bros gonna run out the shot clock? Don't know. About time they try to shoot. Ooh, glad they missed, bro. Hope we can get on the offensive and score us some points. I like it when we're winning. Don't we all? Exactly. Maybe there's some weirdo who's only out there to bring their own team down and hope they lose. Gotta feel sorry for them, bro. What? I wouldn't give them any sympathy. But what if they're down on their luck, or were abused as a kid, or left out of the cool kid's table one too many times? It's why you gotta be friends with everyone. Do you know why, though? Can't judge when you first meet them, bro. You gotta get to know a person first before you can make any sort of call like that. But you can always inquire about them through mutuals. That's how it's been since Aristotle's time. Whatever, bro. But anyway, we're going off on a tangent here. Looks like we've got the ball. It would be nice if the Tritons could score. Exactly. Oof, that sucks. For the bros at home, water polo's a quick-paced game. Higher scoring than soccer, but not as much as football or basketball. Each quarter's eight minutes, too. Far shorter than those sports. But it's for a good reason. You gotta stay afloat and swim around and essentially playing soccer with your hands. Hey, thought of something, bros. Hold that thought, Drake. Looks like the ref's calling a foul. We're just gonna edit those fouls out of the final vid, bro. Timeouts too. But yeah, what was I gonna say? Right, this sport's like a realistic- Goal! Score! Score's tied up with that goal, bro. But the game's far from over. Yeah, we still got three more quarters to play through. And that's assuming that we don't go into overtime. I've got one big complaint about this video so far. What's up? Whoever's recording this footage is being all super janky with zooming in and out with the camera. It's real jarring to me. At least they're being quiet. 
Can't let some asshole ruin the game with his or her talking, now can we? They're not even focusing on the ball half the time. Whoever's recording this needs some serious film school lessons. Maybe you're being too hard on the bro. You can't expect everyone to have Hollywood quality filming techniques. But it's hard to watch the game if they're focusing on the referees instead. And the shakiness of the camera's bothering me too. It's water polo, not the Hunger Games. Hey, I'll take water polo over the Hunger Games anytime. Glad we don't live in that world, bro. Like, could you imagine having to fight for your life in a futuristic coliseum as a 12-year-old? I don't scare easily, and that would frighten me shitless. Wow, these Irvine bros are playing rough. Surprised they haven't called a foul here. At least they're calming down now. Nice bonk off of the cage, bro. Yeah. But Irvine's still got the ball. That sucks. Shit, they just scored. We'll take the lead sometime. I'm sure of it, bro. It'd be nice if we did. But yeah. I was trying to say earlier that this game's a... Ugh, come in, bro. What's up, Drake and Dustin? Ugh, I think I'd better get going. No excuses, Dustin. You said you had all afternoon to watch this game, so you'd better keep your word. Something wrong, Dustin? Oh, just sit down on the floor, Cody. The couch isn't big enough for three people. What are you talking about? There's plenty of room. You gotta be nice to the freshmen, bro. Last time I made fun of someone, they went crying and crying, and we all know what happened there. There's a difference between Cody and Jason. No offense, but your friend needs to learn how to man up. Seems like I'm not wanted here if you're going to talk about me as if I'm not in the room. Don't mind him too much, bro. Dustin's an introvert. He gets a little antsy if there's too many peeps around. I can speak for myself. Thank you very much. So what are you two watching? It's a water polo game. Got this video footage somehow from another world, and I invited Dustin to watch it with me. How come you didn't bring Captain Carson? Bro's busy. Besides, all he'd talk about is the game, and I don't think that'd be entertaining enough for the YouTube viewers. And who would be dumb enough to watch this video? Hey, we got our audience, and we gotta vary it up. Sure, we could go with a jillion peck-bouncing vids, but those only last for a couple of weeks, then viewership dies down with them. Why don't you go with another Star Wars video? Bro, haven't been playing that much of it lately. Though you know who I didn't know was a Star Wars junkie? Who? Well, I'd think the obvious answer would be Noel, but... Well, I was gonna say who, but Irvine scored again. Are we going to be winning this game at all? You shouldn't be so pessimistic, Dustin. And you shouldn't be so annoying, Cody. Let's not fight, you two. We're not starting up a fight club. You already broke the first two rules, Drake. I said I wasn't. Besides, first heard about the book from my J.O. coach, he went on and on about the rules and all. But what if there were a fight club between us all? Like what if my TCS colleagues got into a brawl? Who would you guys think would win? I don't care, Cody. You're thinking way too much into that, bro. What you do with Jace is your business, and as much as I try to be friends with the guy, I'd rather stay out of that model drama. But most of it's between Riker and Noel. Remove one of them and it'd be super peaceful there, I bet. <laughs> Are these bros gonna shoot? Just watch the game, Drake. Oof, that sucks. That was a long shot for sure. Gage would have made that goal for sure, bro. Or Sky. You and your Sky obsession, bro. Gage is a way better player than him. You're biased too. We went over this in that Sonic Unleashed video. But as I said earlier, no one watched that video, so it bears repeating, bro. You have your bromance with Sky, and I have my boyfriend in Gage. So, of course, we're both biased. Hey, I just thought of something. What now? You four are at a deadlock, and I'm the odd one out. So, in a way, whoever I say is the better player would win the popular vote, right? This isn't politics, bro. I agree with Drake. Let's leave politics out of this and all our videos. I'm fine with the no politics thing, but I didn't think best water polo player was an official government position. Whatever. Let's focus on the game, bros. Wow, that bro's being violent. Getting an exclusion for sure. For those not in the know, an exclusion's a type of foul where a player gets eliminated and the game becomes a six on five match. Fouls are pretty common, though exclusions are more severe. But they're not permanent. Usually for 20 seconds of game time, but can be longer. Wow, that was a long pass. Sucks for us. 
I'm hoping this game gets turned around and we can take the lead, bros. At least that goal missed. I don't know who's calling me, bro. Ah, uh, it's only Riker. It's not important. He can leave a voicemail. Mind turning off the vibration, Drake? No, bro. If I did that, he'd get suspicious that I'm ghosting him or something. Why not step into your room or outside and call him back? Kyle's studying in there, and I'd rather leave him alone. How about outside? He can't be studying there. And you said it's Riker. He can wait. You're not Jason, you know. Well, it's done. He can just text me if it's important. Odd seeing the words Riker and important in the same sentence. Told you I'm not Jason, bro. Who said you were? Oh, you're both hurting my head. And now Irvine scored again. So what's the score now? Irvine's ahead 4-1, to one, bro. Really sucks for us. Hard to hear it here. But I think it's kind of cool that the announcer's using the older term for contest. Well, that's an odd segue, bro. But anyway, it's not that old, it's just more formal. Sorry, misspoke. Usually when people think contest, they think of a sweepstakes. But those two things are completely different. A sweepstakes is based off pure chance. A contest involves skill. I know. But many people don't, bro. You don't need to be Professor Know-it-all, Dustin. And you don't need to dumb down our content. I understand the majority of our audience doesn't know much about water polo. But the difference between a sweepstakes and a contest should be common knowledge. And here we go with the camera again. Whoever's filming this seriously needs to focus on the ball. They're not doing too bad of a job, bro. They at least are projecting where the ball's going to go and that Irvine's currently in possession. Not anymore, they're not. Ball's ours now. Now let's hope we can score a goal before the quarter's over. I agree. Let's even it up. Woohoo! And that's how it's done, bros. Three more of those and we'll be in the lead again. Exactly. Hey, all the action's slowing down. Any idea why? No idea. Something's going on for sure. Well, it looks like Irvine's exclusion foul's over, bro. We'll just fast forward to the action. Good idea, Drake. Sooner this quarter's over, sooner I can go home. I'll call Riker when this vid's done, bro. They're counting down so we won't have to wait too long. Of course they stop at five, bro. Usually there's a foul in the last few seconds of play. Not in this case. Glad Irvine missed too. Good. I'm gonna go. You and Cody have fun with the second quarter. And there we have it, bros. First quarter's over.